Hi, I'm John, and uh, welcome to Stupid Fast RC. Today we're actually going to go through some more detail on the X01 and cover off some of the things and questions that uh, came about from the last video. There clearly were a few details missed out, and tonight we're going to cover off the connectivity with the iPhone, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 5, the bits that come with it, um, how do you actually unlock the ESC, and uh, look at the parts and also uh, a quick look at a GPS tracking device that you'll be able to use to see how fast your uh, x ones going. So first of all, let's talk about the iPhone connectivity. Um, you are going to need an iPhone, I don't know of any other way around this. And without it, you actually, it's not just a matter of the telemetry, you are going to need a twin lock ESC. There's two ways of doing this. If you've got an iPhone 5, you're going to need one of these. You can buy these from the Apple Store. It hooks in here. And then you, uh, you you just push your iPhone 5 in here, and you will need to download the app. I actually have the app on that phone. There are a number of little rubber mats you can put in, so the iPhone doesn't flop around, and you lock it in with this mechanism here. So I'm going to use the iPhone 4 here. We hook into our Traxxas link, and up it counts. You can actually configure your dashboard. You can have an analog or a digital dashboard, depending on what you like. You can actually have a number of different models on here with their different settings. You can actually record the sound. It records the sounds and also um, what happened on the dashboard at the time. In the garage, you can select your model, model setup, telemetry setup, transmitter memory, channel setup, and there's different sheets. The very important thing to note here is that without this, you can't unlock. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to put that into our handset here and then lock it in. You actually lock the iPhone in, which is a pretty good idea. I can see it's on now. And we're actually going to turn the car on as well. We can set up the dashboard just to make sure that we're all running. Now, you can see on here. If we go back to the main screen now, one of the important things is setting up training mode. We're currently in normal mode, which means that this car, had, if it had the right cogs in, which are these here, the actual pinion gears, it would actually do 100 mile an hour. As it's set up at the moment, the ESC and the computer are able to um, run at the full speed, but the gearing won't allow it to do that. At the moment, it'll top out at just under 80 kilometers an hour. The other thing that needs to be done is that this spoiler needs to be put on the front to actually hold it down to air down to actually keep it on the ground. There are quite a few safety requirements, and in setting it up training mode, you can actually tell it what level you want the throttle to go at. So you can actually set the throttle right down, well, it's currently set at 20% of full throttle. And we're entering training, training mode. So if we were to pick the model up now and run it, at full throttle, that's all we're going to do. When we go back to normal mode, the other handy little thing is that you can change the traction profiles off the handset from here, and you can share and save them. You can adjust these traction profiles and save them down as your individual traction profile. Back on the dashboard, we've got speed, taco, temperature, and voltage, and you can change those around. You can change them in different positions, or you can change them from the analog. We can go from analog to grid, and in a grid format, um, what you've got there is just enough to get out the old style dials. The other thing we have in here is the drive effects, and this is I guess where the real fun is, the steering sensitivity, the throttle sensitivity, the steering percentage, the braking percentage, and the throttle trim. Things that would have normally been, I guess, on the handset are all targetable from here. This is the screen with the real action, lock and unlock, 100. The X01 is currently unlocked for 100 plus mile an hour operation, follow all precautions and warnings for high speed operation. 
you lock them, model, press lock. So they actually tell you to lock it down with a four digit passcode when you're not using it. When it's set to lock, it'll only do, it won't exceed 50 mile an hour. So then you have to unlock it, put in your passcode. A couple of things that um, you don't necessarily get told in the instructions is that you've got to have um, internet access. And I guess that's assumed that because you've got your iPhone, you've got internet access. The first thing that your model's going to want to do when you fire it up is download some new software. And it'll do that. Um, the other thing that you need to do is when you go to unlock your driver, um, you're going to have to, you'll need an email address, it's going to want a verification, you're going to have to sign off on a whole bunch of things to say that you are um, preserving all the safety precautions, and you're going to have to put in the last four digits of your driver's license before it'll let you unlock. And then it shows you a video of one of these doing 400 miles an hour and hitting a car door and disintegrating. It's quite a good movie. Unfortunately, I couldn't actually get it to reproduce that movie, but it makes you watch that video once you've um, signed off on everything. Um, it's a pretty spectacular movie. You're obviously going to need a lot of space if you want to drive this at 100 mile an hour. And one of the other ways of um, discovering how fast your car went was to get a mini GPS data logger. Um, you can get them from Hobby King. I've also got a Voltron one. The, um, although the telemetry tells you how fast it's going, it's not very accurate, the best way to do that is via this data logger. And this actually gives you um, GPS tracking and tells you precisely how fast you went. It's actually designed for small planes and that will tell you um, your height and your speed, how long you were travelling for, etc. So that's it pretty much really. That's the wrap on um, the X01. I hope that it's answered all the questions that we didn't answer in the first video. Um, enjoy it.